It's that time of the year again, and EA have bestowed upon us F124. And guess what? It's almost the same as last year. Still no native triple support, so we're going to do our best to get it working as well with your triple monitors as best we can. I'll demonstrate how to set up NVIDIA Surround, how to optimize it, measure your monitors, get the FOV set correctly so you can use it for your other simulators, and ultimately how to tweak the in-game camera settings as best we can with the constraints of what they give us to get it looking as best as possible. Let's get into it. Setting up NVIDIA Surround. As stated previously, F124 still doesn't support native triple screens, but there are a couple of workarounds. We're going to be touching on NVIDIA Surround. I'll show you how to set that up. And if you don't wish to use this, you can also alter the settings file, although that is a little technical and you may not wish to use this. You can also use AMD iFinity, but unfortunately I don't have an AMD graphics card, so I won't be able to demonstrate that. First, you are going to want to go to the Start menu and open up NVIDIA Control Panel. Here, you are going to want to click on Configure Surround, select Span Displays with Surround, and then hit Configure. This will open the Setup Surround window, and at this point, you must note the order of your screens. Here, they are displayed in large white numbers. Working from left to right, they are numbered 2, 3, and 1. Now click Enable Surround. The screens will go black while this enables. At this point, drag the monitors in the display window into the correct order you noted before. 2, 3, and 1. Now click Apply to order the screens correctly. Now we need to correct the alignment for the bezels, and this is done with these two figures. This is done visually from where you will sit, so increase the numbers until it looks correct. For me, this number sits at 44. Once this is set, click Apply again. The screen will once again go black as this sets. Now go to the Resolution menu and select Bezel Corrected Resolution. Make a note of this now. Once selected, click Apply again, and then Surround with Bezel Correct Resolution will be enabled. Setting up without NVIDIA Surround or AMD iFinity. Personally, I think using NVIDIA Surround is the superior way to set this up. However, if you really want to avoid it, this is how you do it. First, you want to head to this PC and head to the file Documents. From here, you want to head to My Games. From here, you want to select F124, and then from here, you want to go to Hardware Settings. Within here, you want to enter Hardware Settings Config, right-click this, open with, and select Notepad. From here, this will open this window, and if we focus on Resolution Width and Height, now you'll notice I've pre-filled this, and my resolution at present is 7680 multiplied by 1440, which is three times the width of my 1440p monitors, which is 2560 multiplied by three. If you have 1080p monitors, this will be 1920 multiplied by three, which would equal 5760. The next thing you want to adjust is display mode. Now you'll need to make sure that this is set to zeroed, which is windowed borderless for it to work properly. Now, depending on your setup, you may need to adjust this. Now I have put in the figures for window position, X being negative eight and Y equaling equaling negative 31. You might need to adjust this depending on how things end up on your monitor. If you do find that the opened game is not centered on your central monitor, what you want to do is hold the windows button shift key and then hit left or right on the arrow key and this will solve that problem for you. Calculating the correct field of view, FOV. To calculate this, we are going to need some help from a free online tool available at this address. I will put the link in the description below. Once opened, you will be presented with this window. Here you can adjust your parameters to obtain your desired field of view. For me, I wanted to make sure that all of my peripheral vision was covered, so I aimed for 180 degrees. Firstly, make sure your screen size is set to 16.9, and then input your screen size, minus 32 inches. Select triple screens from the drop-down menu. You will then need to input your bezel thickness. I'll show you how to measure this later in the video. You can then play around with your distance from the screen and see the required monitor angle to achieve your desired FOV. In my case, I felt that a 60 degree angle would work well with my room and a distance of 62 centimeters away from the monitor felt comfortable. But you can play around with these figures as you desire, but once selected, you must stick to them. To better understand this, let's look at this on a diagram. To achieve a 180 degree field of vision, my eye line needs to be in line with the most proximal edge of the monitor, the circle here illustrating my head. 
My screen size is 32 inches. Adjust this for your own size. The distance from screen is the distance from my eyes to the panel monitor. To achieve my required field of vision, I need to be 62 centimeters away, give or take. And finally, I must make sure that my triple screen angle is set to 60 degrees. This angle will differ for yourself depending on what you got in the tool. Here, the angle is taken from a line drawn from the back of the middle monitor to the angle formed by the back of the left and right monitor. Here, this is written in pink. To measure this practically, you will need a digital angle measure, or in this case, a set square that has an angle measurer on it. Make sure this is lined up with the middle of the monitor when viewed from the top as illustrated here. Repeat this for the left and right monitor and be as accurate as possible. How to measure your monitors. Measuring up is relatively easy and we need to take two further measurements. Firstly, we need to measure the monitor's total width. Finally, you want to measure your bezel's width. This is the distance from the outermost portion of the monitor to the start of the image on your monitor. Here, mine measured 0.7 centimeters. How to optimize F124 for triple monitors. The first thing we are gonna to need to do is head to the settings menu from the main menu screen. Once here, we need to head to graphics settings. Here, we just need to make sure that the steering animation is set to off. Now this is personal preference, but if I've got my own wheel moving, I don't like to see the animation of the in-game wheel moving as well. I feel this adds to the immersion. Next thing we need to do is head to video mode. Once here, we need to make sure that our resolution is set correctly as calculated in NVIDIA Surround or within the INI file. As we can see here, this is using Surround, so it is 7768 by 1440. If this is calculated as per the INI file, it'll be 7680 by 1440 or as per your respective monitor. For the display mode, personally, I prefer windowed full screen as this allows me to exit in and out of the game at ease, but please adjust this as per your own specification. Next, we're gonna optimize our field of view and our camera settings. To do this, you're going to need to head to a race of any kind, and here I've entered a time trial, and simply hit escape once you're on the track. From here, you want to make sure that your camera is set to cockpit. Once that's set, you want to head to settings. Within this menu, you want to head to camera customization. Here you want to make sure that your field of view is set to negative 20. This will basically give you the best field of view with the least amount of distortion. Again, I will reiterate we are making the best of a bad situation because F124 still does not allow us to adjust for the angle of our monitors. The next thing I want you to adjust is the offset horizontal. This is essentially our seat position front to back. Realistically speaking, the closer you are to the front here will give a more accurate field of view. However, you lose the view of your mirrors. So I was trying to find a sweet spot and for me, negative seven is the sweet spot for this. The last thing you want to adjust is also halo column. Again, this is personal preference, but with binocular vision and a halo col column set in front of you, you would not normally be able to see it because your eyes would look past at it. So to have the most accurate setting in order to create the most comfortable driving experience, turn this off. The next thing you need to adjust if you're running triples is your on-screen display. Once you're on a track, hit escape and then head to settings. And then from here, head to on-screen display. From this menu, you want to head to OSD customization. If you're running triples, all of the things that you see on your screen before you, such as the yellow flag, safety car, and all of the other details will be on the peripheries of monitors one and three. So you'll definitely want to spend the time adjusting this. You'll notice that the layout at the bottom says race. Now you will have to do this for every layout, including practice, time trial, qualifying, and it does become very tedious, but unfortunately it's highly recommended. From here, you want to make sure you select your element using F7 or F8, and you can cycle back and forward. And then as you can see, if you want to move things, simply use the arrow keys, going left or going right. Once you're satisfied, click enter, and then repeat for every subsequent element. So after all that, you should have gone from this to this. Hope you enjoy F124. Let me know what you think about it all in the comments below. I'll be giving it a good old go. Like and subscribe if you found value in this, and I will see you very, very soon. Take it easy. Bye for now.